Hello guys, my name is Chien and welcome to the Learning MongoDB course and today in this video I would like to show you how to uh, use uh, the Robo Mongo graphic user interface to work with the, with the MongoDB and I will show you how to create a database, create a collection and after that we will insert the document data into the collection and the finally I will show you how to drop a database Okay, so let's get started. And basically, we have finished a lot of video in previous day. So you can come to the YouTube channel in e learn programming. And I have a play playlist in e learn MongoDB here. So we contain all of the video for this story. And my YouTube channel, you can access it. YouTube slash C slash GNVF. I have a lot of video regarding to the learning programming language so I think you can find some video helpful for you okay so back to this video today and now I go ahead to open the Robo, Robo MongoDB tool on my PC here I have the MongoDB connection. Go ahead to select the the connection you want to be connect. So click on the connect button here. I'm, I'm able to connect it into the system now because currently I'm just running the MongoDB as a Windows service in the background. So in this uh, start the uh, MongoDB instance first. Um, I'm go ahead to con get the asset into Robo MongoDB now okay so now fully you right click on the connection name you we have create database here click on it and you can enter any name for this database i will enter it in that click on create button to create the table at the database here so now I go ahead to right click on collision to create a collision. I will name it E. For example, for now I will create a collision E for product. Product. Enter. And after that I will insert a document. In a product or a collision, it should have some few E. Uh, product name, product uh, description, price, and blah blah. Okay. You have to write the, the, the script add in the recent structure. iPhone 7. Name description. Yes, I go ahead to copy this one. And before you click on the save button to execute the inserting data into the collection, so you click on the validate button here to validate the structure of the JSON. Yes, if we got the JSON in uh, valid here, so that means the, the 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 script you will write is correct, and you have no issue. So now you can go ahead to click on save button to insert the data into this collection. Yeah. So double click on the product collection here to see. You can see here we have one record here. I mean one object. You can view detail by clicking on the object ID and view document. Yes, here. And now you want to 
insert someone you click on is right click on the white space here insert document I will copy this for sec Save. Here you can see here we have three objects or only added into this collection. So you okay, so you insert a new one. Yes, if you think the data of this record uh, of this object is invalid, so you can go ahead to right click on the object and click edit document here. You click and add. add. You click on validate button here. Save. Yes. You are able to create multiple collection here. Function user. And okay, so now you if you want to delete this database, you go ahead to right click on the database name and select the drop drop database. Hit button to perform the action. Yeah, so you can see now the database only edit delisted out of the MongoDB system. Okay, I think that's all for today. And after you finish this video, you know how to use the uh, Mongo Robo MongoDB graphic user interface to work with the MongoDB. You know how to create the database, create correction, and insert the data document into the collection. And after that, you know how to drop an existing database out of the MongoDB. Okay, so I hope that helped and feel free to let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye and see you in another video.